We begin at five with new details in a Target 12 investigation into a signature scandal rocking the congressional race. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The Rhode Island State Police are now involved in the investigation into potentially fraudulent signatures submitted on behalf of Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos and her bid to go to Congress. Target 12 investigator Tim White's here now with what that means. Tim. Attorney General Peter Nerona tells me this investigation will examine the nomination papers in all 19 cities and towns in the 1st Congressional District. As Target 12 tracks down more and more people. So you never signed nomination papers for Sabina Matos? I've never signed uh, nomination papers for anybody. Who say their signature was forged on nomination papers. Oh, that is a forged signature. The criminal investigation has expanded with the Rhode Island State Police now involved in the probe examining nomination papers submitted by a worker for the Sabina Matos campaign. Should people feel confident in the system? Yeah, I, I think they should. Uh, by and large, the system responded in this case. The signature scandal has fueled anxiety about the integrity of how candidates get on the ballot. Secretary of State Greg Amore says while some signatures were approved that likely should not have been, the matter was eventually flagged. Is the locals are doing their thing, in this case 19 cities and towns. The Board of Elections is doing their thing. We're doing our thing. I mean, it's very difficult to have widespread fraud when you have so many entities doing the checking. Signatures show the paperwork under scrutiny was submitted by campaign worker Holly McLaren, seen in this Dan McKee political ad from last year. A spokesperson says she is no longer working for the campaign. Target 12 has been unable to connect with McLaren. On one sheet she collected in Newport, Target 12 spotted the same name and address twice, but with different signatures. But should election officials look at that sheet and say, wait a minute, two names, two different signatures, this entire sheet should be under scrutiny? Yeah, well, I, th I, think, there, I think there's something to be said about that, right? You, you're you're going to get a question if there's more than one uh, issue on that sheet. But I think their job is to make sure that people who did sign are validated. Sabina Matos has not given an interview, rather talking through several statements saying today they were, quote, frustrated and angry about the situation. Amare's office says the Board of Elections will decide on the matter tomorrow at 2 p.m. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.